All right, moving on. PCI 5.0 SSDs are also crashing instead of throttling. I like how they say other. Crucial 888 gigabyte CK are also affected. Interesting. They figure out what the heck's going on. I've, before we get into this, I struggle to tell the difference between a decent Gen 3 and a decent Gen 4 NVMe SSD in most situations. To be completely blunt, I can tell the difference between a SATA SSD and an NVMe only because I use so many of them all day, every day, and I'm looking for it, and I do a lot more data transfers than the average yeah, person. You do. Today's video is brought to you by Humble, the leader in awesome PC games, comic books, and software deals. Get over $200 worth of games that you actually want to play for just $12 with Humble Choice. More details after the video. Truth be told, for the average person, I don't particularly find any serious difference between a decent SATA SSD. We're talking about a Samsung um, 870 Evo. MX500, yeah, a good drive, and a, and a decent NVMe. For most people, minor. Gen 3 to Gen 4, TLC to TLC, DRAM buffer, DRAM buffer, I can't tell the difference. Huh. It's so unbelievably trivial. Gen 5, this is a way to charge you more money for the same thing. Yeah, well, they also have to bring it out to kind of beta test it too, so. Seems like it's working. I'm sorry, but this is so, so not. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. So anybody watching, here's the main point I want to share. Anybody who feels like they are missing out by not having Gen 4 or Gen 5, don't. Gen 3 is fine. A decent Gen 3 drive, 870 Evo Plus, Team Group MP34, uh, Silicon Power A80, they're all three gigabyte per second TLC DRAM buffered quality drives. You are not missing out by reusing those drives and keeping them on a modern platform. So it says the controller has been crashing instead of thermal throttling when operating without a cooler. be used with a heat sink so the conditions that expose the thermal shutdown will not present themselves if the drivers are used correctly. Oh gee, funny that. If the drivers are used correctly. <clears throat> um, AJ Haverkamp in chat just made a great point. Uh, it's measurable but not noticeable. Benchmarks can see the difference but yes. that doesn't mean that you, you will notice in day-to-day -day use. I hate to say this because I i7 12700K versus i9 13900K. I just built a 12700K machine for live streaming. You can't see it, but it's under the desk over down that direction. I just built this because of the deal on Prime Day. I had one on the shelf, so I ordered one to replace it because it was my testing CPU. I also have an i9 13900K at the office that we do our video editing on now. Just using the computers, I can't tell the difference. Windows, tabs, Chrome, launching stuff, Windows updates, installing video drivers, Windows drivers, getting everything set up. Uh, we installed Adobe uh, Photoshop and yep. Premiere on our street. Both machines have Adobe. Both machines uh, have Office on them. Both machines have all our work-related stuff. Mm -hmm. Between a 12700K and a 13900K, they basically do the same thing. There you go. It's nuts. Surprise you a little bit? Well, yeah, a little bit. I get spoiled. I get spoiled by all the nice stuff. And now I'll tell you what I do notice the difference on. The Ryzen 9 5950X. It's slower than both of these. Mm. You've used the 5950X I, I, at the office. I, I have. You can tell the difference yeah. just in Chrome yep. between a 5950X and true. the 13900K. That's true. That's because the 13900K is 30 to 40% faster single core performance. That's why you can tell the difference. You do notice it. So, yeah. So it says here the 
issue only occurs when you use a PCI 5.0 SSD without cooling. So don't do that. When the drive gets too hot, it shuts down to protect the SSD controller. NAND and data. Well, isn't that kind of like, da? So don't do that. Gen 5 drives require a cooler. Yeah. Gen 4 drives should have a cooler. Hubble is a company that prides itself in the almost two hundred million dollars raised for charity in the past 10 years. Everything they sell from the monthly choice program to the awesome bundle deals to the Humble store directly supports various charities. Humble Choice is the best deal in PC gaming, hands down. You get up to 12 games a month for just $12. No commitment, cancel any time, and you get to keep the games forever. You get individual Steam keys that you can keep or you can gift, Plus, you gain access to the Humble Trove, a collection of 90 plus DRM free games that you can download and keep forever. As a bonus, you get up to 20% off the Humble store, plus the confidence of knowing that you're buying directly from the game publishers. Humble does not use third parties to source their game keys. All are 100% sourced from the publishers, so you know you're getting the real deal. Check out this month's Humble Choice Games using our link in the video description below. Using that link supports our channel and gets you awesome game deals that will keep you entertained for hours, days, weeks, months, a long time. I have done large data transfers and large testing on SSDs. Some of the Gen 4 drives are actually too hot to touch. I shut the machine down I go to pull the drive out, I have to wait five minutes. Mm -hmm. You can't touch it. It's, it's that even hot. if it's had a cooler on it, even if it's had like a plate, the, the motherboard plate coolers on them, yep. I take it off. I can't physically touch even the sides of the SSD for four or five minutes. It's so hot. Mm -hmm. I really think that the large plate on the, you know on the motherboard how the, you have to unscrew the thing and the whole yep. thing comes off? Mm -hmm. The problem is those are big chunks of metal. They yeah, don't have yeah. fins. I don't think those are actually very effective coolers. What you need are heat sinks that have fins to vent yeah. the heat away. Yep. And so motherboard designs need to change, change to better accommodate that. Do you have anything to add to this? I'm curious if anyone out there has one that that has happened to. I will post a poll. Okay. Do you have... Yeah. Short and sweet. It is. That's very short and I sweet. I did short and sweet. <laughs> you did. I can do short and sweet. Don't look shocked. I 